Hello, I'm back again with another video and it's quick for me because I don't usually come back as quick as this with videos but this is something I thought I'd better tell you I did it with the uncle screen in the last video and if you ever buy any screens from um, part suppliers like you know like the uh, repro screens when, they, when you get them they always seem to be a bit misty I've got one here it's, it's a Safari Citroen Savari um, screen so I'm going to show you a way you can um, brighten them up and I'll tell you what it's so simple what you use that's all it is floor shine right so what I use first I'll give this a good shake it's just your ordinary turtle wax car polish wax stuff Let's give it a good shake you only need a bit in the lid get your rag get the bits in the lid first use a lot it's only a little piece like that a little, a little dribble and then you just give your screen a very good clean up with this stuff gets all the dust from where it comes from the factory where they make them or the parts supplier gets all the crap off give it a good going over with that just so you can give it a good you know clean do this with any screen that you buy you know reproduction screen because they're never very shiny I don't think but this here you do this process and it it really brings them up and they look really shiny and well it's like they should look really I mean you wouldn't have Corgi wouldn't have put well they may, may have done if it was a Friday afternoon they wouldn't call them but I can't see Corgi putting really dirty mucky screens in there models what they made on the day but if you give it a good, good going over like this get all the you know give it a good shine up afterwards get all the excess off and this is so simple I just I saw it on another video somewhere but I had a job to get hold of the actual floor polish that you've got to use for it. And I was in my local shop, my local bargain place shop, and I saw it and I thought, ah, I'll have a, I'll have a packet of that. Only 99p for a litre. So, there you go, I grabbed, grabbed one of them. Right, so when you got it like that, it looks pretty good as it is, but I promise you, it'll be even better when it's finished. All you gotta do, I've got an actual coffee top. Get this stuff here. Put a bit in your coffee top. Don't really worry about it, just put it up so far. You can reuse it. What don't get used, you can pour back in your um, thing again. And I've got my little curing thing. This here, a bit of tissue in the bottom. It's just a, all it is is a coastal packet, and you put your screen in there afterwards, and it keeps all the dust off it, so it can cure, it can dry. And all you do, get your tweezers. Place it in there. Just submerge it in this floor polish. So you gotta do get a few very seconds or so. So it soak up a load of the actual floor polish. In the meantime, get your um, curing thing ready. Right, and when you take it out, 
that all the excess drip off. And if, if there's any bubbles, just go in again like that. Because you don't want any bubbles in it. So drip off like that. Double there. I don't want bubbles, there's bubbles there as well. Right, anyway. Hang on. This one's been a bit of a bugger with the bubbles. Don't usually have this problem, but I have this time because I'm filming it. That's why. <laughs> right, yeah, there we go. So when you've got it like that, just move that aside. All you do is you just put it on top of the tissue and you um, thing like that put your lid on and that's it you just leave that now leave that overnight and um, when you take it out again you'll have a nice shiny polished screen it puts like a very fine film on the screen. Right, as you can see, this is the next day now. I'll take this out of here now. Take the lid off. And you'll see the finished product. And it might not, on camera, it might not look much different, but if you look at it, I'm not going to see it in the light, but there is a nice shine all over that screen. It's a lot, you know, what it does, it, it's got to be the floor shine finish. Because what it does, it, it, when it dries, it, it leaves a very fine film over the screen. And it's a lot shinier than when you actually buy the actual screen. But most ideally, this, this stuff works well with old screens so i mean if you're restoring a car and the screen isn't broken or anything, it might have some like little tiny fine hairline scratches on it or anything you know i mean you can rub most of them out but if you do that first rub, try and rub as much out as you can and then give give it a dip in that stuff well when it comes out it's amazing what it looks like it looks like a brand new screen so, I mean, really, it's, this stuff is best for, for using on old screens. But, I mean, I've, I've seen it work on the old screens well. I mean, I did do a test one back on, I don't know, on a, a mini screen, but the trouble is this one had a crack in it, as you can see, so I can't really use it. But look at the shine on that. That had very fine scratches all over it. And look how clean it's come up, and look at the shine on it. It's come up like a new screen, apart from the, well, the crack can't really do that much about that. I don't know, even know why I've kept this, but well, that's me. I don't like throwing nothing away for some reason. I think there's something wrong with me. But there you go. Anyway, that's a that's a hell of a difference. So, like I said, old screens. If you want to rejuvenate them, just buy the, just buy a packet of that floor shine. But it's got to be the floor shine finish, and then you just dip it in. Leave it for 24 hours, you know, you know, take it out there, dry on the tissue like I showed you, and leave it for like 24 hours like that, and then away you go. Well, I hope that was um, helpful to you. Um, if I get any more little tips and that from my way, I shall share them with you. But for now, it's cheerio. See you next time.